Good morning, Jamar. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, Arrow. How about yourself? Doing fantastic. You're right down the highway from me in Anderson, South Carolina. Does that make you a Clemson fan, or are you going to go Gamecocks on me? Man, ooh. You, you hit me with <laughs> I grew up with both of them in the household, so um, <laughs> I've been kind of juggling for my whole life now. <laughs> <laughs> so true. I've always felt for those that live in that Greenville area. I mean, it's it's like, oh, my God, which side do you jump on? And if you, you know, is it just like spur of the moment? Literally, yeah. It's like whoever. I mean, almost. It's bad to say, Arrow, but like, it's kind of like whoever's doing, doing good, you yeah. know. And you know, because women, the women's Gamecocks. I mean, wow, amazing. But then you got Clemson football team, college football team that's been doing great too. So it's like you know, you got to kind of play both sides. I got a shirt for whatever day, you know. I just throw whatever, whatever shirt for whatever day. Who, whoever's playing, I put my shirt on and I just go downstairs. And, I do what I do. <laughs> what is it about the soil around that area that there are so many uh, artists that that are that have always come from that area? I mean, it, it just blows me away. And even when you look at the concert schedules of, of the bands that are performing today, they've always got to go through that area of the country. I think they're there to steal your dirt. Man, what are you talking about? Listen, I bet you can find bags full of dirt yeah. in them duff. <laughs> That good soil. <laughs> it is. I mean, is it, do you think it's the role of the land or, or the way that it comes out of the mountain area? I mean, because there's something very magical about that section of the Carolinas. Yeah, it is. It's beautiful, man. I mean, honestly, it's one of those breathtaking, you know, moments of fresh air, to be honest. And, you know, like just even being from the low country, like the Myrtle Beach area, mm-hmm. it's it's just beautiful, you know. Even when I even when I visit back home, I'm always like blown away at the just the beauty of just everything around me. It's like wow, when you're little, when you're a kid, you're just running around here, you're not really paying attention. But as you get older, you can appreciate, you know, where you live and how beautiful it is and every mountainside. Just everything. It's amazing. Yeah, and we've got to give Buford, Georgia, a big plug, too, because, I mean, we can't just talk about the Carolinas all day because you're, you you step into Georgia, and that in itself is poetry in motion. Yes. Talk about it, man. <laughs> and Buford, over here in Gwinnett County, oh, yes. it is amazing over here. I mean, it, it's one of the most beautiful places to me in the Atlanta area. And... I, wow, yeah. I was glad that me and my wife were able to even, you know, purchase a home on the side. So, yeah. It's, yeah, this is a beautiful place. So Very nice people, and it reminds me of home so much. Creatively speaking, though, when you're walking around that Atlanta area, we're talking about one of the music capitals of the world. On every corner, there's a new genre of sound. Anything from R&B to crunk, you you name it, you're going to pick up on an inspiration. What What is it that, I mean, how do, how do you walk through the everyday streets knowing you're, you're going to pick up something, Jamar, and, and, and you're going to run with it? Man, that's amazing, Errol. Like, honestly, knowing that I could just capture like a creative moment like like you said just literally walking through the streets walk through the mall you walk through the airport like you could just be going to the Publix and someone's out there playing this violin perfectly no mistakes like you got people that are singing yeah and it's you are you are constantly inspired in this city and like I said I live outside of the city and still like I still experience that when I'm going to the local grocery store or like, you know, even to the mall, it's, it's honestly like a music heaven. Like yeah. everywhere you go, music is like a prime subject of each County. Almost. <laughs> it's like the, everywhere you go, it's like someone's doing something that's amazing and you have to get out here and record the moment because yeah. really those are the most organic moments to me. It's not the people that's on TV. It's not what you see online all the time. It's really those moments. Like um, I went to a concert with Earth, Wind, and Fire one oh time. Oh my god! Oh. Arlo Santana, which was amazing, courtesy of my wife. I, uh, I love her so much. And um, <laughs> they, there were these guys out there drumming, you know, and they were playing um, man, uh, the song Fantasy. Yeah. On the drums, you know, doom, 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 doom. and they had like little the little record player going, little radio, a Bluetooth speaker. As a matter of fact, and the way they were drumming, like I was like, man, look at this. These guys are so talented, man. Oh, 
oh, they're so talented. So it's a beautiful thing to walk around and just know that music is always around you, you know? Don't you love the moment of music in that? Like when you, when you talk about the percussions, how do the percussions mix with the, with the guitars, with the vocals? I mean, it's, it's almost like every night that we go to a concert, we should actually be very grateful of a miracle happening right there in front of us. Man, Arrow, yes. You should absolutely be grateful because who did this? Like, what? Yeah, right. How did I to put this together? <laughs> who created this stuff? You know, like, I often sit around and I'm thinking, like, man, who, like, literally took a piece of wood and cut it into, like, the shape with a neck and a body and put strings on it? And, like, it created sounds, like, but then you blend it with something with, with the skins on it you know, like such as a drum and you got the keys that are made of the ivory. Yeah. And it's like, who created, who knew that all of this went together to create a band? Like, who's this guy? Yeah. yeah. Who, one, let's, let's try, hey, this sounds good by itself, but let's place this together with this. <laughs> Where are you, man? <laughs> we love <laughs> The, the the power of exploration and see and 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 this is how far back I take it Jamar is, is that I go it it had to start with a thought did the thought come from a tree or just a passing bumblebee where did it come from <laughs> that's a good way exactly like who who's like walked around and just thought about like I'm gonna build something that makes a beautiful sound yeah. so like yeah who thought about a beautiful sound who knew that it was beautiful so many questions man. Do you find yourself when when you're when you're opening for for the, the the top names? Do you find yourself being the student in the way that you're taking notes? You're a brilliant listener, and that it's like, okay, they they've had this incredible journey. I want to become a part of the continuation. Yes, every single time. I often tell everyone, no matter how experienced or how good I am, I'm always going to be a sponge when it comes mm-hmm. to life, and music, advice wisdom like I'm always going to be a sponge so when I meet the greats and I open up for them I'm definitely even after I open up I'm not the one to go like you know just go mix and mingle like I'm behind the stage actually watching Mm -hmm. study seeing what they do or what they've done for so long that's kept them you know being where they're at at the top of their game so I'm always a student of music always and I'm always and I need what they have, even though I, I wanted to be brought out to that level. Yeah, yeah. And and, and I'll tell you what, Jamar, I, I'm blessed with the opportunity to talk with a lot, a lot of these legends like Carlos Santana and Earth, Wind & Fire. And what I love about them is how real they are. They have every reason in the book to be so stuck on themselves. You ain't going to get it from them. You know, that's just not who they are. And, and then you go, well, wow, if they're still going today by being at peace like this, then that's who I want to be. There you go. Yes. 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 Arrow, you're absolutely right. And I stand on that, you know, I stand on my character integrity and, and being nice to people. You know, a lot of people say, man, you're so, you know, you're so like, such a great guy you're so you know I loved you're so mannerable that's what I love to hear more than anything I never want to be that guy that's I'm so great and so prestige in what I do to the point where just I just overlook being a human and being pe- being a person and just not treating people like they should be treated you know like and just not having good character mm-hmm. I mean I grew up that was like the first thing I've ever learned before I could touch an instrument how to be mannerable and how to have respect for people. And you put that into your music and it, I feel like it starts to show, even when you're not trying to let it show, people could just see it, they yeah. can feel it. and they- Yeah, that, that's one of the things that, they, you know, that I've learned about being part of the Elevation family. And that is, is that, you know, you, you don't have to go out there and, and say, God, 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 just wear it, just wear it. They'll pick up on it, trust me. Come on, man, come on, man, this is so true. And, oh, man, so many stories. Yeah, this is so true, Arrow. I mean, just wear it, honestly. Just be be that godly figure, man, and the rest is history most times. Like, most people, this, this, they don't even know why they start talking to me most times. I mean, but it's like they could feel the peaceful joy, mm-hmm. joyous energy in me. Uh, you know, most of the contestants always say, man, if we had to pick that one human that could be the best human in the world, 
Jamari would be you. And I'd be like, man, I'm like, thank you. You know, I was just me. I'm just me. I make people smile and, you know, just to be a happy guy. Just be a guy that's full of joy. That's it. How do you deal with those moments? I mean, at 36 years old right now, and as you continue to grow with, with the journey, I mean, I, 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 just just to go and be on that stage, it's, it's like the older I get, the more I want to be with family. I want to be with them at all times. But I also know I'm being called to a stage so others will be affected. How do you deal with the, that one little space that a lot of people don't realize that we have to go through as creatives? Wow. Me dealing with that, you know, I lean heavily on prayer and yes. direction. And it's, that's like my, that's my, my go-to. Um, and I just seek wisdom for these, for moments like this, because, you know, of course I got married a, what, a little less than two years, coming up on two years ago. <laughs> and, you know, I was blessed to have the wife that I have. That's like, um, uh, Mr. Langley, you have, gifts like that you're still doing mm -hmm. don't let I'm not here to hold you I'm here to push you yeah. forward even more. yeah and her push alone is really what has landed me in this position because again like seeking God's wisdom and I feel like it came some of that came through her and just being in the right position because I'm I'm always now paying attention just being very very careful of like where I'm at and how I'm doing, even who I'm working with here in Atlanta, mm -hmm. you know, like just being, making sure that I'm focused ahead. And I feel like even in that moment, like you say, that little moment in between is what shifted me from doing the lounges, just going to the studio every day and maybe yeah. just singing TikTok videos to on the stage, you know? And so everything that's good about me gets to come out on the stage and I would even go on record arrow to say that I feel like part of the reason why I got a chair turn wasn't just because I sounded good. I feel like they felt something beyond that. Mm -hmm. And turn well, if there was something in there that they heard apparently in my voice, but I feel like it's the, it's part of, like you said, when you're carrying a certain thing, it's just a part of you. And I felt like that's what came out as well. Yeah. You know, there's a there's a subliminal message that, that I always pick up on in the voice. And, and I hope that listeners and viewers will see this when they hear you for the first time. They're not seeing you. That's like listening to the radio. You don't see videos. You're picking up on the vibration of the soul that created that music. And that's what I love about the voice is that they are planting that seed into the hearts of the viewers. And then they turn around. So, so that to me, you've got to hear it first before you experience it. Yes. Yes, Arrow. Man, you got some, you have some nuggets. <laughs> and I love that. Well, you got to hear it first before you experience it. That is so true. And hearing comes from, you know, from your ears. And yeah. honestly, we we use our, our minds to even focus, to even get to the stage of hearing. So it's like, all of that is like, just honestly, before you even, before you even seeing a person, that's so amazing. Yeah. You, you said something that's still in my heart, and that is focus ahead, because I believe in focus forward. And and so you, with you saying that, listeners have got to understand the importance of that. Yes, we have a past. I get it. I get it. But you've in order yeah. to grow forward, you've got to focus forward. This is true. You have to. Honestly, you have to learn how to get up. One yes. uh, of the past is good or bad. Um, like me, I had kids in my 20s. You know, I had, yeah, like I had my daughter and hey, you know, it wasn't what I planned, but the other thing I didn't plan to do was to lay down and just soak in it either. Yeah. You know, I got up and like I said, I had to music slow down right then during that moment, but I never stopped moving forward. Mm -hmm. Like despite of what could have been on either, either side of me or what may be behind me trying to pull me back. Yeah. I never stopped moving forward and it's super important to keep your eyes on your prize i know some people say get keep the eyes on the prize That's but it. a lot of people the prize is mm -hmm. keep your eyes on on your prize too because you don't want to i mean the prize can be anyone's prize to be honest yeah. <laughs> because i've had those moments where i've been warning other people's um other people's career journey 
you know, because I want my eyes to speed up. So I'm looking at this person's and I'm like, man, what did they do that I'm not doing? They're focusing on their prize and not someone else's probably. And that's what. <laughs> Have you ever had one of those moments where, where it's like, uh, you know, you, you, you question the situation and it's like you almost hear in, in your heart where God is saying, I know that, that this is what you wanted, but I needed this from you right now so that this person over here could be ignited. Mm, yes. I have those moments all the time. Cause you know, again, Arrow, going to the blind audition and meeting younger artists. Yeah. You know, and so the conversation is different as a slightly older artist with more experience and not just artistry, but in life as well. So certain conversations now I could I could ignite, like you said, I could ignite people in a different type of way from a different perspective that they could add to their their art, mm -hmm. but they also could add to their everyday person as well. And I'm like, okay, now I get it. <laughs> I getting my journey now, because I'm meeting all these people that like need to hear something. There's something that they need to hear. Mm -hmm. And then they bump into me and I just so happen to have the right thing to say. See, and I call those moments, and I'm a freak on this, I call them the Yoda moments because Yoda became wise because he listened as he grew older. And that's why I love the idea of getting older because you're growing wiser. Yes. Wow. Yeah. That, that is so true, man. Like, yes, as you're getting older, you, you really try, you really start to understand your life lessons better. Yeah. Yeah. All your life, your life lessons become your experience and then your experience, you know, then exudes out in your everyday life as an older, wiser person. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jamar, you got to come back to this show anytime in the future. You're just down the darn highway, man. I'm, and, and I'm, and I'm, you know, I, I realize you've got the Falcons down there, and we, you know, we we've got the Panthers and the Hornets up here, but we got we got to bring these two cities together together and not have such a rivalry. Listen, let's do it. Let's let's bring it together. <laughs> People, we gotta we gotta stop this stuff. We gotta stop these rivalries in this football game. <laughs> <laughs> well, you be brilliant today, okay, Jamar? Yes, sir, Al, you as well. Listen, this won't be the last time. I'm gonna head your way. Excellent. Let's set it up. All right. Let's get it done. All right, buddy. You be brilliant. Yes, sir.